Hey everybody, as will become uh, very obvious during the uh, watching of this video, I am sick. Uh, which means I am not going to spend the time to try and edit this very much. And uh, there's a good chance that DoorDash is going to come with my fuga, and I'm going to have to get up and answer the door. So anyway, welcome to week six. Also, in case you thought I was cursing just then, fuga is just a Vietnamese chicken soup. It's really good when you're sick. All right, hello, uh, welcome to week six. Like I was saying, uh, week six, oh, by the way, sorry I didn't get a video out last week. I just, I screwed up and then had my son and just, yeah, didn't have time to refilm it. But it seems like everybody got through okay. Um, you probably have noticed things are getting a little bit more complicated um, and that's gonna kind of continue this week. But uh, it seems like people are still being champs about it. So if you need to reach out for help, uh, some people have reached out to me individually and I've kind of helped them individually. Uh, obviously, we are always available to do that. Both me and Keith uh, are here for you. So anyway, um, this week, week six, we're going to be looking at sort of uh, manipulating strings, um, something we haven't, well, I mean, we've kind of played with strings a little bit. Uh, but this is going to be conceptually not difficult, right? This isn't like uh, recursion or object-oriented programming or, you know, generic programming or something. You can ignore all those words. I'm just saying it's not like a conceptual, you know, sort of difficult thing to understand. Uh, but what it is, is fiddly. I think fiddly is a word. Uh, if, you, if you are a pedantic person, somebody who's very detail-oriented, you are going to do very well this week. Um, because it's really just about looking at strings and sort of strings of characters, right? These, you can almost think of them as lists of characters, right? But they're just, you know, uh, I need to try and match certain patterns and you know, go up and try and, you know, go up to this particular character and remove these exact characters and what's that going to do to the whole package. And, um, and like I said, it's not, it's not, it's like doing your taxes, right? It's, well, maybe your taxes actually are difficult conceptually, but like for most people, your taxes are not difficult conceptually. It's just, you got to do like little bits of simple math on lots of little tiny numbers. Um, point being, yeah, fiddly. Fiddly is the best word for it. Uh, so anyway, so we're going to look at format strings. That's how do you get a string to appear on screen in a particular way to format numbers the way you want, um, which is fairly straightforward. Validating input uh, It's a little bit weird. You're going to you're going to get exposed to the try keyword, uh, which is kind of good. But you know how how am I making sure that I'm getting the right input from the user? And probably the biggest and most complicated thing uh, that we'll be talking about this week, um, and you'll see it in the explorations, are regular expressions. Now I will say regular expressions get a lot deeper and a lot crazier and a lot harder, uh, but not for this class. Uh, for this class, we're keeping it fairly simple, but it's still gonna feel very sort of pedantic. And what a regular expression is, is it's just a string that's set, <coughs> ignore me, I'm fine, I'm going to live. Um, but it's a string that's set up in a certain format so that it will pattern match other strings. So um, using these special characters, you might be able to say, okay, so I want something that is a parentheses followed by three digits and a closed parentheses and then three digits and then a hyphen and then four digits. And you would know that, okay, so if something matches that pattern, that regular expression, it is properly formatted to be a phone number, right? Um, or whatever. And so you'll see that uh, in the explorations. In fact, the explorations kind of do something interesting where you're actually using that um, with the sort of regular coding for DNA um, and the four letter sequences to sort of determine, you know, what the actual proteins are uh, or the actual, okay, I'm not a biology major. It's the, the, the bits that make up the proteins in order. Um, so you can actually figure out what chemicals are, are making up these strands based on sort of the raw DNA letters. Um, anyway. Check out the explorations. The explorations you'll actually probably find to be uh, a lot more um, a lot more detail oriented than you will hold on. <coughs> I told you I wasn't going to edit this, um, and I should survive by the end of it. But regardless, what was I saying? It doesn't matter. Uh, the DNA stuff will probably be more difficult than your actual assignment for this week. Your assignment for this week is just to look at office numbers, and based on the formatting of the office number, determine whether or not that office belongs to engineering or non-engineering. And if it's in engineering, you need to alter the office number. And if it's not engineering, you don't alter it. So it's really gonna be sort of a, sort of a, you know, an if branch based on 
that regular expression. Does this match? Then I know it's engineering, then I need to edit the uh, office number. Otherwise, I leave it alone. So uh, that's your assignment for this week. Should be fairly simple. Uh, the discussion is really going out and trying to find a regular expression out in the wild, right? So, uh, and you can actually just search for regular expressions. You'll find oodles of pages with you know commonly used regular expressions. But these regular expressions will match things to determine, is this a valid social security number? Is this a valid email address? Is this a valid blah, 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 whatever, right? Um, is this a, you know, your zip codes are supposed to be five digits hyphen and then a four digit, they have, there's a name for the four digits that comes after the hyphen in a, in a zip code, but I've forgotten it. I'll remind you that I'm sick, so forgive me. Uh, but you know, that is a zip code, but you can also just have the four, the five digits, right? That's also a valid zip code without the little, you know, I used to know what that was called. It's the four digits afterwards. I would Google it, but I'm on camera right now. And like I said, I'm not editing this. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, so anyway, that's your discussion. Go out, find a regular expression that might be uh, useful. If you can find one in your discipline, that's great. Uh, I don't know what your disciplines are, but you know, presumably there might be one that would fit something along those lines, depending on what you're doing. Uh, engineering, probably gonna be a lot easier than psychology, I would assume, but I don't know. Um, boy, I really hope people can understand my, <clears throat> uh, I'm not going through puberty. This, this is just my sick voice. Uh, so anyway, so that is week six in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or Keith or somebody. We will get to you and uh, try to help you out. And uh, yeah, take advantage of those office hours. Um, they are helpful. We have nice discussions if you happen to show up. So uh, yeah, have a great week and I will see you online.